Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Flint Hills RP. Let's get on into it. As always, guys, over 67% of you are not subscribed. So if you want to help a pickle out, then click that subscribe button to join the pickle jar community. It's completely free, doesn't cost you anything, so just make that little button go from red to gray. We are just getting off that call from last video where we had to respond to a combine fire. So we're running back up to the firehouse to return the fire truck, get back on our truck, and get back to work on what it is we have to do. Also, I was scouring Craigslist earlier today, and I think I found something I want to buy. We, of course, are going to continue with harvest here today as well. We're going to take care of the horses and do the usual chores with them. We've got the vet coming over, so we're going to have to prep uh, a couple horses to go into the vet barn to get them checked out so we can start breeding season. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What did I just see? Hold on a second. Did I just see? I'm sorry. What? Huh? Who did it? What? <laughs> Okay. The things you see when you're driving the fire truck back to the station sometimes. Oh my gosh. Ooh, ooh, it's been a long day. We're here. We're going to get this thing dropped off back at the station. So the light's on. Give her a little honk honk. Back it right on up into its spot here. And get the fire truck parked back at the station. We'll run back inside. Get everything put back away get in our truck and get on home all right we're all done here i think we can hop back up in our truck fire it up get on back down to the farm and let's supposed to get to work here today all right we're showing back up to the field let's just pull right on off and into the field here should be just fine we'll pull up park hop out grab the cooler full of uh <clears throat> water and get to work here today what do you think we got the 8400 sitting here let's see what do we uh, where were we at oh we're that's about full i suppose let's just go ahead and fire up the old 8400 and let's run this on over actually real quick before we fully go let's also run over here start up okay somebody was complaining the way i say it i say gleaner uh i think someone was trying to tell me it's glenier I don't know. Either way. Or did I say Glenier and someone complained and said it was Glenier? I don't know, dude. It's it's Slim 98. That's what we call it. The S98. <laughs> Either way, we'll fire it up. Get it running. That way it's ready to go when we get back over here. I'll back up in the 8400. And let's take this on over to the bins. All right. We're just going to pull right on up and into the bins here. Get it unloaded right on over the top. Here we go. Here we go. We'll let that stay there. We'll let that get unloaded. Actually, I don't even need this running right now. Shut it down. 8400 can stay there. We're going to come over here and hop into 4450. Fire it up. We'll take it on over to the the uh, combine. Get back in the combine and get back to work. Boy, this sure would be a lot easier if I had King here right now, wouldn't it? That's all right. We're making progress where progress can be made, I guess. Can't waste a single day. We're about into winter here, and it actually did snow just the other day, so we've got a lot of crop yet to take out, so we got to get rolling. And that'll do. Let's just go ahead and shut this back down, hop up in the combine, uh, and uh, let's get to rolling. All right, we got the header going here. Let's just make sure we can sneak right past that. There we go. Perfect. And put her down. And we're back to harvesting. We will be uh, running on in to take a look at something that I want to buy here in town a little later today. But I'm waiting on the guy to give me a call back to see if it's even still available. I found it on Craigslist and I thought, oh, that could be kind of fun. So we're going to go and possibly buy uh, a fun little toy today. But we'll see what happens. But for now, we'll just keep doing what we do best. Well, doing what we do mediocrity, mediocrity, mediocrity. Is that a word? You get the idea. We're going to keep harvesting and uh, we'll catch in with you guys here in just a little bit. All right. Get her turned back around. Line up the other direction here. There we go. And back the other way. This way is a little easier to do because we can actually see the edge of that that uh, header there. When we go the opposite direction, our console kind of blocks off our view a little bit. That makes it a little bit more difficult. Well, we're just about full here, and I'm noticing we got a lot, a lot of weeds on this field. This portion of this field must not have got sprayed too well. 
Um, or these weeds must have just been a little bit hardier than some of the other patches and fields because there's been quite a bit out here. A lot of weeds in this portion, but I think we'll be all right. Um, it shouldn't really be all that much foreign material. We shouldn't get docked too much if we do try to sell. Besides, uh, I don't think we're really trying to sell much of this, if any. Uh, it's, it's primarily here for our horses so we can feed them and not have to buy out horse feed all the time. It actually saves us quite a bit of money because horse feed is marked up significantly compared to if we just produce the oats ourselves. I'm hoping I can get all the way back up here, but I just don't think that's going to quite happen. I think we're going to be just about full here, just a little bit. Yep, there it is. Yep, there it is. Let's back up real quick so we're not knocking those with the uh, the header. We'll leave the header running. I'm going to stick this arm out. And we're going to run on over here, grab the, grain, the gravity wagon, and get that thing unloaded. It's a big, beautiful day out, though. Look at that big, beautiful, beautiful blue sky. Gorgeous out today. Absolutely beautiful fall day. Let's run around just right up back behind. Loop back around. Get this thing unloaded and, and uh, continue harvesting. I think we can get this whole section done here uh, pretty soon, actually. It won't take us too long. There we go. We're getting filled up now. Just wait a little bit. We'll get back down and uh, continue harvesting. All right. There we go. Got about, I want to say, half. Got over about half full there. So we'll keep rolling. We were able to go a good, probably one, two, three, about four stretches there. And so we're not going to quite get it finished in this run, but it'll be about this run and a half or so. And I think we'll have this, this portion of the field completely knocked out. Well, I just got a call from the gentleman. He said that he is going to be around a little bit later today. So he gave me a time. We're going to run out there and take a look at the thing that I want to buy here in just a little bit. Uh, I think before we do run out there, we'll just uh, get the horses put in the vet barn as the vet is going to be here around the same time. And if I'm not going to be here when the vet's here, I'd like to get them prepped and uh, just in the barn for him. That way it makes his job a little bit easier and he doesn't have to go hunting around for the right horse. All right, we're coming up to the end of this stretch, but we are going to shut down the combine right up here so we can get over and get the horses in the vet barn. So let's go ahead and whoa, Nelly, shut her down. Nice and easy. Got the header shut down. Now we got to shut down the combine here. So let's disable all of that. Where we go? and turn off the engine perfect that can sit right there we're gonna run back over here into the truck head back to the farm and get to work on some other things all right all the horses are here in the barn what i'm gonna do is uh yeah we'll leave that side door door open there but i'm gonna just run over here real quick and i'm gonna open up mm, yeah we'll open up this side that'll be fine there we go that way they can get a breeze in here and they don't get too hot. They're good to go for the vet. We'll close up this gate now. Perfect. All right. We got them put out for the vet. And I think we can move on to the next task today. So let's hop back up in the truck, head on into town. And we're going to go meet this guy to see if I might buy something from off of Craigslist. All right. We're here at the guy's house. And we are going to take a look at this thing right over here. Look at this. So I saw this come up for sale on Craigslist. It is a used cop car. Now, this thing was just bought at a state auction. The lights uh, haven't been clipped yet. And as you guys know, it's illegal to use those. So we do have a 30-day notice to uh, to disable their, their the lights, like cut the wires and stuff. So we probably will do that. But in the meantime, I'm thinking, you know, if we buy this, we, we have a little bit of fun. Not on the public roadways, of course, but... I mean, come on. You got you buy a cop car, you know you want to play with the lights and sirens at least once before you got to destroy them, right? I was looking at this thing, and I'm like, dude, it is so cheap. I'm sold. I want to buy it just for fun. We can use it as, like, the security car at the farm or something. I don't know. It's an impulse buy. Let's do it. Let's just give the man his money, and let's take it. All right, we just paid for it. It's ours. We have a cop car now, a retired one. Listen to this thing. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. 
He said that uh, I can come back to get my truck later. He said it'll be fine right there. But we're gonna go and we're gonna have some fun with this retired cop car. Let's go, boys. Oh, it's got some speed still. It's still got some power. Okay. First things first, it does actually need fuel. Wow, what a jerk. He lives next to Casey's and he didn't give me a full tank of fuel. He telling me I have to pull in here and fuel up my cop car. Come on now. Holy gosh. Oh, oh these fuel prices. Oh, $117. That's a no, oh my. Oh my, what kind of fuel do you take, cop car? Jet fuel? Jeez. Okay, okay. Well, my wallet cried a little bit there, but at least it's filled up now. Let's roll. All right, all right, guys. Look, I know, I know you're not supposed to do it on, on the roadways, but I want to do it. So we're going to do it. Here we go. And lights. Oh, 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 oh no. We're in some guy's driveway now. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, siren. Yes. I finally feel like a cop. If only, the only way to make this more official would be go to Krispy Kreme or something. Oh, I'm loving it. Best purchase ever made right here, boys. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's turn off the lights and everything before we get arrested. <laughs> all right, fellas, I think the only proper way to uh, send uh, or to initiate this vehicle into the farm life is... Uh, oh, yeah, I've got an idea. Here we go, boys. Welcome to the farm, baby. Now, this is how you initiate a cop car into the farm life. Let's go. All right, guys. There you have it. We bought a retired cop car. Um, honestly, I there's no reason why. I just thought it would be fun to own. But that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to park this out in the driveway and see if I can confuse King with it. So until next time, I'll see you all later. Oh, tree. Oh. We wrecked. Okay, no, man. I'll slice you up like Juzo, Susie, uh, Austin from a bro. Nah, never heard of ya. You ain't nothing like me. I'm Ken Kanaki while you're just extra number three. Yeah, I'm a pickle. Yeah, I got sick flow flowing so smooth. You just got rip rolled. Never gonna give up. Never gonna let down. Never gonna let you pass me back now. My views climbing. Your start dropping. You hop in and ask what's popping. I say nothing.